College basketball season about to tip off. Capital University announcing today, men's basketball coach Damon Goodwin will be taking a leave of absence from the program this season as the St. Mary's native has been diagnosed with a rare but highly treatable form of leukemia. Certainly our thoughts and prayers go out to Coach Damon Goodwin and his family. He's expected to rejoin the program when he's healthy. Time now for the Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week with Austin Scott. Alex Gonzalez and the Defiance Bulldogs get things started on this week's countdown. First play from scrimmage for the Bulldogs and it's Gonzalez calling his own number. He goes down the near sideline, a 62-yard touchdown run as Defiance wins their final game of the season over Shawnee. Wapakoneta wraps up their regular season in Van Wert at number four. Colin Smith dropping back to pass for the Cougars. Intercept his pass, Seabass. That's an INT for the senior, and the Redskins sew up the undefeated regular season. More defense shows up at the third spot this week. Connor Houlihan's pass is picked off by Marion Locals Joel Goodwin, and he's going the other way. A 60-yard pick six, and the Flyers absolutely roll in this one. Fort Recovery visits for sales at the runner-up spot this week. Quarterback Caleb Martin throws near side and check out the acrobatic catch by Wes Wenning. We'll slow it down and show you again. Watch the senior make the grab while he's diving backwards. The Delphus Jefferson Wildcats take the crown on this week's top five plays. First play of the game and the Jeff Cats are passing? Jay Stockwell throws on the run to Grant Wallace and he goes all the way for the 46 yard touchdown to open things up. Jefferson wins 26 to 10 and claims the Northwest Conference Championship. We'd like to thank our league champion, Layfeld Welding, for their support of the top five plays and check back next week for some playoff football action. 